Oh, sorry guys, I didn't realize you were here. Oh, but hi everyone and welcome back to Boat McGrill. Well, we are back up in the workshop and well, just sanded the back side or the bottom side of the electrical cabinet that I'm gonna put in my grill. Before we keep on working with this, I just wanna say a few words about the channel. Uh, as you might have noticed, uh, uh, the channel is now monetized thanks to all of my over 1,000 viewers that together put up over 4,000 watched hours on the channel. To have the channel monetized is a way for me as a creator to have a possibility to bring in a little bit of cash for, in my case, the project. All of the commercials it's not much, but all of the money that's coming in that way is going to go back into the channel and to build up uh, equipment, uh, maybe put some of the money into the boat and so on. But back to what I'm doing here. This week's uh, episode is going to be pretty short because what I'm going to do mostly here is start to build up the cabinet. I uh, also realized that I might have done a little mistake with the uh, part that's going to be the door and the opening, the front part. Uh, but that's something that I'm going to have to look into when uh, this and the sides of this is mounted and put up in the boat. And I will hopefully get this mounted in the boat next week. So for now, just let's start concentrating on putting this all together. The idea is to have this something like this. I will fasten this to this and have an extra uh, little support in the back here and up here on the side. And then I have the outer supports done. By that, this part down here is pretty sturdy. Uh, I'm happy with that. Time to put the side piece on here. Oh, nice. Don't do that. Wood chips in your face isn't fun at all.
that sits pretty well actually and it's flush there and it's flush here isn't really flush on the bottom but eh, who cares uh, it's a half a millimeter I can sound that off So there's some small steps left uh, trying to figure out how to get these uh, pieces just to fit together real well. Ain't always easy, but uh, I think I'm gonna get it together in the end. As I told you earlier, uh, this piece, <laughs> this outer piece, might actually be this piece, this part here might actually be too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this up in the uh, in the boat, and then I'm actually going to um, take the template and actually redo the template for the front part. I might need to cut out a new piece of plywood, uh, but yeah. That's something I can live with. It has to follow the curvature of the uh, outer wall here to the on, on the boat. So good afternoon guys. It's uh, Sunday afternoon and it's time to go back in and start uh, rendering this movie so we can get it up on uh, YouTube. The last little thing uh, that I am doing right now is to use this Top Lack International and uh, nope, I'm not sponsored by them, so don't worry. But I have been painting the bottom uh, the back piece of the uh, new electrical cabin.
and as you could see I also put in a uh, another little support here here is where the doors gonna start out to this uh, unfortunately my idea was to get up to the boat and start uh, uh, putting this in but uh, the time is running out that's gonna be for next week uh, so what I'm gonna do here is just finish up the last little piece here and there uh, sand a bit when the paint has dried and after that uh, uh, prepare for uh, next week's work on the boat if you like this video and want me to put up more videos please consider giving me a little thumbs up or like hit the subscription button down on your right side and of course put notification bell on all so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and by that thank you for watching take care everyone bye